Okay guys, in this video I want to discuss a fairly advanced topic um, that really wouldn't be um, familiar to you if you're not trading the same instrument day in and day out. So I'm going to try and describe it and see if I can get it to happen live. Um, and what it is, guys, when the market, I want you to watch carefully. Do you see how the market is not fluctuating? And now it's picking up speed. Guys, you don't want to enter in when the market is hanging there. When the market is hanging, meaning that it's not making a lot of mark to markets, it's or in other words, it's not making a lot of fluctuations. I'm just telling you that's when you don't want to enter. You got to wait for it to loosen up, so to speak. You got to wait for it to do something, and that's that's when you'll know to enter. Uh, so basically. I guess what I'm trying to say is that you will oftentimes, especially in the overnight session, you will see the market hanging there. And right now you see, for example, it's hanging on these two black candles and normally, you know, I'd say, okay, that's a good entry, but if it's not, if it's hanging there, I don't know how else to describe that to you. It, it, the NASDAQ makes pushes, it makes pops, it, it, it slows down and then it speeds up violently. And you don't want to get in prior to that pop. I, I really don't know how else to say that. Um, in a very low fluctuation environment, like you see right at this moment of this recording, I call it hanging, uh, but technically what the market is doing is it's not making any new mark to markets or a very slow rate of fluctuation. It's not the right time to enter. You wanna wait for the market to, to pick up speed, to pick up more fluctuations, to pick up more mark to markets. And then it, it's called flushing basically or popping. Uh, and you want to wait for that. So let me see if we, you know, I'm interested in, in getting long, but I want to wait until the market is not just hanging there. Okay. You see how the market right now, sitting there, that's 663.75. It's been there for, you know, the every mark to market is happening pretty slowly right now, right? If I wait this out long enough on the recording of this video, you'll see it pick up speed. It will just uh, pop or flush lower. And that is what you want to wait for. You want to wait for the mark to markets to pick up. You do not want to enter in when it's just hanging there. Um, I know that that's a pretty advanced concept and it's really more of an intuition or a feel after trading the same instrument day in and day out you you will get a feel for your instrument. And the NASDAQ will flush. It will flush lower. Okay, before it, before it goes higher it will make a flush lower it will pick up speed okay that's what it does it just you don't want to get in there when it's just hanging there so I think I might make more videos on this this is just kind of an introduction to it guys you basically what I'm trying to to say is that in my opinion guys you don't want to enter the market when it's hanging when the fluctuations are low when the market is sitting there, and it, even if it's sitting right on a PD array, you want to wait. You want to wait for it to pick up speed. You want to wait for the fluctuations uh, to increase. You want to wait for a flush, the pop, the pop higher, or the flush lower. You do not want to enter in when it's just hanging there, uh, as the market is right now. So, you know what it could do is it could it could turn around right here and pick up speed to go higher. But I'm just waiting for the market to do something. Okay, I'm waiting for it to for the mark to markets to increase. I'm waiting for the fluctuation speed to increase. I'm waiting for that flush lower or to get a pop higher. I'm not going to enter in when the market is just hanging there and the fluctuations are are very short. Okay, so you see how the fluctuations now are picking up a little bit, starting to get a little bit of increase in the fluctuations. The market's ticking. It's making more mark to markets it's picking up speed velocity you want to wait for it to make that flush then you can feel confident about entering but not before it makes the flush after I understand that's a very touchy-feely sort of intuition concept but if you've traded a lot of the NASDAQ you will know exactly what I'm talking about you'll get that feeling and it is just a feeling, guys. It's not a PD array. It's not anything other than timing. And I understand it's a pretty advanced concept. I get that. So, anyways, guys, I'll, I'll keep this video short. 
um, and I will discuss this topic again. I'll try and I'll try and catch the market live and show you exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know if the market's going to pick up velocity as as I'm recording this video, and I'm pretty tired. Basically, guys, if the market is in a very low fluctuation state, if the Nasdaq is is not making very many mark to markets, if the price is lethargic, even if it's sitting on a PD array. You want to be very careful with that. You do not want to enter in on that. You want to wait until it flushes. You want to wait until it pops. You want to wait until the fluctuations pick up speed. Uh, and that will basically, guys, I'm, I'm refining your timing. Okay, that's called it's timing. It's uh, refining your timing. Okay? So in any event, guys, uh, I will discuss this topic more, but this is just an introduction on not entering the market on, on low fluctuations, waiting for the market to pick up speed before you do something. Bye-bye.